Sam and Sophia for inviting us. Um, I've been looking forward to playing with Utsav, who's like a brother to me, um, in this format for some time. So I'm really glad that uh, this opportunity came along. And um, we're, we've been playing, uh, we played in Philly a couple nights ago and last night in Burlington. And we've been playing some music of mine as well as some music of Utsav's. And um, it's been just wonderful to collaborate in this format. And um, that first piece is called Gaga, um, only because <laughs> there's a, a solfage syllable in Indian music that's we call Ga, and there's a lot of that in this piece. <laughs> and um, we were trying to figure out what to call it, and then just Gaga felt like the right, <laughs> right kind of title for it. Um, this next piece um, is a piece that I wrote uh, somewhat crazily to play merdanga and piano and sing at the same time in 2020 because I had too much time on my hands. Um, I thought that would be a fun exercise, but obviously it's much easier to play when someone else is playing the piano. <laughs> um, so this piece is called consilience, which is a word that means sort of when things jump together. There's a feeling of three different instruments that I play jumping together, but you can think about it as different worlds jumping together as well. Oh. 
we're going to do is um, one that looks so good. Which one are we doing? <laughs> trying, still trying to decide. Still trying to decide. Well, let's do, uh, let's do a sovereign. A sovereign? Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want to say something about it? Mm -hmm. um, the title uh, is not reflective of what the piece is. It, it was based off a rug called a sovereign, um, and then it kind of diverged away from there. Um, I haven't found a new name for it yet, but kind of this part of, I've been trying to write a lot of short, fairly open pieces that help me, I play a lot of pure Indian classical music and trying to find ways to adapt that to the piano and this is kind of, uh, these pieces are a way to break out of playing in a very kind of traditional way and let a lot of other influences seep in. So, and 
obviously Rajna is like the perfect person on the planet to play these things with. Utsav is also the perfect person to play the music, so <laughs> the feeling is mutual. Thank you. 
pieces um, are ones that I wrote with another friend of ours who we play with often, Ganavir, who's a wonderful vocalist. Um, and uh, the first piece is called Altitude, and it was inspired by being in the mountains of Banff, Canada, and just the sort of sense of well, probably loss of breath, honestly, <laughs> but <laughs> loss of oxygen, but, but just a sort of feeling of um, being in a different kind of spiritual space. And uh, the second song is called Vagabonds. We, we play them together, uh, which was actually based on a song I wrote when I was a teenager and that like had, was sitting somewhere in a notebook for years and then revisited a few few years ago and Ganavir wrote some lyrics for it. We don't have the lyrics today, but um, we'll play an instrumental version of that piece. So hope you enjoy that. Thank you. 
Michelle again for being here. And thank you again to Sam and Sophia for having us here and to, to all the folks at Troy Music Hall um, for making this possible. We're going to finish with one last piece. Would you like this one? Okay, thanks. Um, it's based on a, an old Hindi film song. It's called Kucha Na Kese. <laughs> 